All right, what's up, Big Block Love here? Um, with a final video of my girlfriend Jessica's uh, Stingray 3 in Concept Corvette. Uh, did everything on her own. Painted it, glued it. I helped figure out a couple test fit issues, but that was about it. Um, this is literally the first model she's ever done. Um, on uh, Nova, she painted the interior and some frame pieces and stuff, but majority I built this one and she helped paint it and stuff. But this one, she, this Corvette, she did completely all by herself. And I think, considering looking back to the first model I ever did, it is extremely, extremely very well done. So, of course, I'd like everyone's opinions and comments and whatever. But, make sure I didn't just break it. I didn't do it. Okay. And this isn't the easiest kit either. I figured it being a basic build, it'd be easy. She liked it. It was kind of a pain in the butt. But here it is. Um, of course, the convertible top left the original purple. Um, figured it would give it a good off look. The plum crazy. Um, that is the same plum crazy that we used on the Nova. And she went with a black and green accent interior. I gotta figure out either make or come up with a shift knob for it. Somehow we lost it. But, um, there you go. Just got the horns in there. And there's the engine. Of course, you know, it's a newer style motor, it ain't much to detail, but she's got the pulleys all painted up. And detail the top of the intake there a little bit, add some more green, uh, the radiator cap in there, and you can kind of make out the fan, fan painted in there and whatnot. And of course, a little bit of glue problems, but considering, I think I would have had the same problem the way this windshield went in. And the windshield was whooped, so it was just a pain to begin with. And she painted her mirror flat black instead of painting them purple, which I think is kind of cool. And of course, there's not much detail on this kit on the chassis. You can see the drive sh drive tunnel in there a little bit. She painted it green, but so. Got the exhaust on there. So, and then just this. The first time, this I think this took like three attempts to get this rear the brake light. Sorry, stop you guys. I think it took like three attempts to get that rear brake light bar on. It was kind of a pain in the butt. And then uh, the dash, they didn't show on the instructions very well, but the dash was supposed to go um, up, over, and in on top of the body from underneath. And it didn't, wasn't very specific, and that caused some problems. It took me a while to figure that one out. But we got it figured out, and she got it all put together. But, so there it is, her first all-by-herself model. And she is working on the 56 Tuber that I got today on Craigslist. It's going to be her second one. And so, 
hopefully she likes that one a little bit better. This one, in my, in my opinion, was a pain in the butt. Even if I would have been building it, the problem she had, I would have had myself. Because it's not the best kit in the world. Especially for a basic builder. It's supposed to, they're supposed to be a little bit easier. <laughs> but. So. Uh, let her know what you think. And when she's done with the 56 T-Bird, I'll post that up. And if anyone thinks they might have a tire for a 56 T-Bird, um, we're going to try to do that. And then if not, um, probably gonna, I got some other tires that will kind of work. Um, but it'd be better if we could find the right ones. So, on the hunt. But anyway, so, yep, that's it. Later.